Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is derivatives. Derivatives for UBI Assistant Manager Forex. Basics karenge derivatives ke right? The basic understanding of derivatives required for the Forex Manager exam. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years. This is my WhatsApp number. So UBI Assistant Manager Forex course uh, is available on bankexamstudy.com where we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series. So similarly, uh, the credit manager, the UBI credit manager scale to course is also available, right? The links are available in the description. So first of all, what derivative is? So derivative is uh derivatives are financial contracts that derives their value from an underlying asset so derivatives derive their value from an underlying asset for example gold there are gold derivatives or you might have seen nifty bank nifty bank derivative or nifty derivative right so what they do is they their value of these derivative contracts they are dependent upon these uh, the value of the underlying asset nifty bank ka jo derivative contract hai uski value depend karti hai uska jo future hai uski value depend karti hai nifty bank kahan upar ja raha hai niche ja raha hai so what are call options what are put options we are going to discuss that today right so there are a lot of kinds of derivatives derivative contracts kisi pe bhi ho sakte hai gold stocks commodity currencies bonds so a lot of kind of uh, derivative contracts are available in the market right so what is the purpose what is the purpose that's also what we are going to discuss today so let me <clears throat> before starting let me tell you there are broadly three types of participants in the derivative markets the hedgers the traders uh, and the arbitrages right so hedgers uh, who are in the market to avoid the risk jo uh, risk ko avoid karna chahte right for example uh, vardhman vardhman textiles right vardhman textiles they need let's say 6000 tons of cotton 6000 tons of cotton in a year right in a year so they are uh, writing their quotation on the basis of a price let's say the price per ton is let's say 4000 rupees so iske basis pe they are writing the tenders and let's say the price they, they took the tender tender le liya agreement ho liya ho gaya paise aa gaye and now when they started actually purchasing the cotton from the market the price actually went up to rupees 10000 and they are going to be into huge losses and they don't want to take this risk. So, ye, jo Vardhman Textiles hai, they don't want to take that risk. Somebody else is going to take the risk for some money. So, that is known as hedging. So, traders are generally speculators. Um, I mean, there will be a lot of traders around you who just buy and sell the securities for the sake of profits. 90% of them are in losses, but their goal is to make money from the price variations. So HDFC bank ka share 1300 rupees, you buy it you buy it you buy it so you are going to make 100 rupees. That's what the traders, that's what they do, right? Arbitrages, so students, uh, bhi hai ye. for example, the price of tomatoes, tomatoes, the price of tomato, there are two markets. Uh, in your city let's say at in one uh, market the price of tomato is let's say 50 rupees per kg and the second market the price of tomatoes is let's say 70 rupees per kg what is going to happen people are going to buy uh, the tomatoes at 50 rupees per kg and they are going to sell in another market for 70 rupees obviously transportation ke charges wo adjust karke right Eventually, kya hoga ki, there will be high demand in the market where the price of tomato is 50 rupees and there will be a lot of supply in the market where the tomato price is 70 rupees. At the end of the day, the price is going to be almost equal. Transportation ko side pe kar den to, right? To wo almost barabar ho jayega. That price is called arbitration. I hope you understood that. Let's move forward. Toda basic understanding ho gaya abhi aapko, I hope. Uh, hey, I need 5,000 sweaters in December. How much? 
सो दिस इज अ गुड एग्जाम्पल आई यूज टू वर्क एट वर्धमान एक्चुअली मेरी ट्रेनिंग थी या सो वर्धमान नेटिंग मिल्स राइट उनके पास एक कस्टमर आया दैट आई नीड फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पाँच लाख स्वेटर्स चाहिए मुझे कितने में दोगे सो बेस्ड अपॉन द एग्जिस्टिंग प्राइस ऑफ वूल और कॉटन और द रॉ मटीरियल द लेबर दे गेव एस्टिमेशन द वर्धमान उन्होंने अपना एस्टिमेशन दे दिया टू फिफ्टी रुपीज़ पर पीस वी कैन डू इट ओके नो इशूज सो दे सैड ओके टेक द एडवांस एंड देन ऑन द इन द मंथ ऑफ डिसम्बर गिव एस दीज मेनी स्वेटर्स सो इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी 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 द प्राइस ऑफ वूल वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज़ पर के जी एंड वन स्वेटर नीज हाफ के जी ऑफ वूल डेढ़ सौ रुपये की तो वूल लग जाती है उस पर ठीक है डेढ़ सौ रुपये की वूल एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज़ का लेबर एंड बाकी एक्सपेंसिस कट कटा के ट्वेंटी रुपीज़ का प्रॉफिट है नेट प्रॉफिट पचता है एट द एंड ऑफ द डे तीस रुपये के लिए काम कर रहे हैं बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वट हैपन द वूल प्राइस इज वेंट अप नाउ वट दिस पर्सन इज गोइंग टू डू सी दैट मैन द वर्थ मैन इज गोइंग टू लूज मनी द प्राइस ऑफ वूल वेंट अप टू लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड हाफ अ के जी वूल जो है वही ढाई सौ रुपये की है उसी पर तो बेच रहे हैं तो वट अबाउट द लेबर वट अबाउट द अदर एक्सपेंसिस तो उसका क्या होगा सो दैट पर्सन इज गोइंग टू लूज मनी सो वॉट हैपन एट द टाइम ऑफ डूइंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वट द पर्सन डेड वॉट दिस द वर्धमन नेटिंग दे डेड they did a contract with the, a trader or let's say uh, somebody uh, some suppliers that he can supply the wool at 310 rupees per kg for next 6 months and they can supply at 2 lakh and 50000 rupees ye price kaise decide hota hai so if you can open the nifty ki official website you can check the prices of the future contracts easily you can get it so they did the deal and now uh, the see the vardhman ka jo main business hai that is making sweaters they are not into uh, the the change in the prices of wool they don't want to make money out of uh, uh, price variations in fluctuations se wo dur rehna chahte hain i mean the whole business cannot be dependent upon the price of wool मार्केट बढ़ जाएगी कम हो जाएगी उससे कुछ खास लेना देना नहीं होता है नहीं होना चाहिए राइट सो द पर्सन हु इज टेकिंग द रिस्क ही इज अ स्पेक्यूलेटर एंड द पर्सन हु इज अवॉइडिंग द रिस्क इज अ हेजर इन आर केस दिस पर्सन इज अ ओनर ऑफ वर्धमान टेक्सटाइल्स राइट सो दैट्स वॉट द सीन इज वॉट इज आर्बिटराज जो मैंने अभी आपको बताया था प्राइस ऑफ पटेटोज इन टू मार्केट्स Uh, it's different. Nine rupee per kg and three rupee per kg. Hoga uh, kya? The people are going to buy potatoes from Punjab and they are going to sell it in UP. Punjab me nine rupee hai. The UP me three rupee hai. People are going to buy from uh, Punjab and they are going to sell it uh, like. Oh no! People are going to buy from UP at three rupees and they are going to sell it in Punjab. सो यू पी में डिमांड बढ़ जाएगा एंड पंजाब में जो सप्लाई बढ़ जाएगी सो इवेंचुअली द प्राइसिस आर गोइंग टू टू अ सेम यू नो लोकेशन छः रुपये प्राइस हो जाएगा दोनों मार्केट्स में एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट इज आर्बिट्रेशन आर्बिट्राज और आर्बिट्रेशन का प्रोसेस राइट सो दैट्स आर्बिट्रेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू द डेरेवेटिव देर आर जनरली टू टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द फर्स्ट वन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड right exchange traded and the second one over the counter what is the difference so in exchange traded a middleman is involved middleman exchange is involved as middleman in india that is in case of stocks it is uh, nse or bsc so uh, mcdax for, for the commodities bahut sari hai right so the contracts that are executed via exchanges are known as exchange traded contracts good examples are options and futures right exchanges involved you directly do not know the other party aap exchange ke sath deal karte ho aapko pata hi nahi hai wo agla banda kaun hai jiske sath aap deal kar rahe ho right so exchanges involved right so over the counter contracts there are forward contracts and swaps where you directly deal with the other party right so we are going to discuss the options futures forward swaps in the future in the next lectures right 
so in the exchange uh, in the exchange traded contracts exchange is involved the contracts are cleared with the help of exchanges the contracts are standardized the exchange provides a guarantee while in case of over the counter contracts uh, there is a default risk it's always there the the traders they they directly deal with themselves aapas mein khud se deal karte hain custom contracts hote hain they are unregulated credit risk is there there is no credit risk involved in the exchange traded contracts they are regulated and the contract size is standardized nifty ka contract size bhi standardized hai bank nifty ka standardized hai गोल्ड का भी स्टैंडर्डाइज है हर तरह के डेरेवेटिव जो एक्सचेंज से ट्रेड होते हैं दे आर स्टैंडर्डाइज राइट सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ऑप्शन इन द फ्यूचर्स 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 फॉरवर्ड एंड स्वॉप्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज अटेंड द सेशन राइट सो स्टूडेंट्स बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग द स्पॉट प्राइस ऑफ लेट्स ए कमोडिटी इज फोर्टी एट रुपीज अड़तालीस रुपये है लेट्स ए वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट potatoes right so if you say i will buy 100 tons of steel let's say it's steel of steel uh, itna complicated we isko nahi karte hain let's say isko 50 rakho spot rate ko theek hai chodo so i'll buy 100 tons of steel at 50 uh, rupees per kg on the settlement date that means you are expecting ki price uh, prices are going to go up you have a long position you have a long you are long on this asset according to you the prices are going to go up and somebody who says i'm going to sell at that particular date that means you are expecting the prices to go down right so you are shorting you are shorting right so let's say the prices what happens to the price uh the price of steel goes up by 10 rupees now it is 60 rupees so when it is 60 rupees the person who did the long he is going to make 10 rupee per kg and the person who did the short he is going to lose 10 rupee per kg but let's say the price of steel goes down by let's say 10 rupees i mean yahan se to 20 ho gaya 60 se 40 agar 20 But if if it goes to forty rupees, the person who longs he loses ten rupee, and the person who shorts he lose he makes ten rupees because usne sahi judgment liya. And let's say the final price of the steel is fifty five rupees on the expiry date. The person who long makes five rupee, and the person who shorts he loses five rupee on the expiration date. They need to close the contract for sure. on the expiration or the settlement date right so on the settlement date if the the spot price jo existing price hai commodity ka ya stock ka if the spot price is more than contract price the person who longs he is going to make the money he is going to get the difference right so yahan pe we, i gave you a good example spot rate is 50 rupees spot rate is 50 rupees at expiration it is uh, the the spot uh, spot rate becomes 55 rupees this one is the contract price 50 rupees is contract price so 55 minus 55 rupees is what the person who longs make right and uh, 50, 50 minus uh, you know uh, 55 that's what the short loses right so that's what i am explaining here if spot price is more than contract price the short pays along the difference right and if the spot price is less than the contract price the long pays a short difference so please understand that it's important so spot price is a price at which the asset trades in the cash market right jo bhi uh, price pe nifty trade kar raha hai that is a spot price when it comes to nifty future price <clears throat> the price of future contracts in the future market one month two month future price can be there right contract cycle it is a period over which a contract trades generally it's one month right every future contract expires on the last thursday of the respective months right i mean if it is a trading holiday a day before thursday expiration date or the settlement date the day on which uh, the derivative contract ceases to exist 
स्टिक साइज कितना बढ़ सकता है कितना कम हो सकता है द मिनिमम मूव अलाउड इन द प्राइस कोटेशन जनरली इट इज फाइव पैसा इन निफ्टी फ्यूचर इट इज फाइव पैसा कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइज इन द फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स दे आर स्टैंडर्डाइज फॉर गोल्ड फ्यूचर्स इट इज स्टैंडर्डाइज फॉर निफ्टी फ्यूचर्स द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइज इज स्टैंडर्डाइज द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वैल्यू कैन वेरी ऑब्वियसली सो कॉस्ट ऑफ कैरी इट हैपन्स it occurs in case of commodities for example there is gold futures obviously to to hold the gold there are some expenses usko hold karne ke bhi kuch charges hain so that is a cost of carry price band is essentially the price range within which a contract is permitted to trade a good example right now is if you are watching it in 2024 uh paytm prices paytm stock prices they are going down by 10% and when the stock price goes by down by 10% they stops uh, the nse the nse and the bse they stops uh, the trading of paytm shares to jab 10% se zyada kam ho jata hai to circuit lag jata hai usko circuit bolte hain so uske baad wo trade nahi karne dete upper circuit is 10% lower circuit is 10% itna hi bad sakta hai itna hi kam ho sakta hai right so uh, what about the margins although i thought i'll give you the example in the future for example you want to do option trading okay uh, option trading a future me trade karna hai so you given an initial margin right and it's it's same as uh, uh, jo aap khelte ho jiwa wagaira khelte ho it's the same you give the initial margin right uh, and let's say you make money you get the difference right but if you lose money right if you lose money and the margin goes below the maintenance margin you get a call from your broker that you need to uh, you know you need to uh, you need to give me give us money otherwise aapki position se, uh, square ho jayengi uh, that's what the maintenance ka system is right so which are the following statements most accurately describes a derivative security uh has a pay off based upon the asset value it has a pay off based upon the asset value right so the value of the derivative contracts uh, they are based upon the value of assets right let's move forward to the next question basic question aate hain kyunki basic introduction kar rahe hain which of the following statements are true about uh exchange traded they are least accurate about the exchange traded uh, derivatives they are standardized they are liquid they are fixed they do not carry default risk aisa hota nahi hai i mean you don't even know the other party the exchange is there for you which of the following derivative is a forward commitment interest rate swap is a forward commitment i mean i'll do a proper session on this i mean somebody who has a variable interest rate somebody who has second person is having a fixed interest rate so they can uh, you know uh, exchange the interest wo acha hai concept I'll, i'll teach you that don't worry uh, a custom agreement to purchase a specific t bond next thursday for 1000 a custom agreement a custom that is an custom agreement so that's a forward commit, commitment future contracts or options wo custom nahi hote right forward contracts are custom agreements interest rate swaps are equivalent to series of uh, forward contracts why because let's say on every first of uh, first of every month interest rate due ho rahi hai see what happens is one person is having variable interest rate loan right the other person is having fixed interest rate loan lekin variable wale ko uh, fix chahiye fix wale ko variable chahiye so they are going to swap they are going to swap or switch their interest payments right सो वेरिएबल का इंटरेस्ट रेट जो है इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट बढ़ता घटता रहेगा फिक्स वाले का फिक्स रहेगा दे आर गोइंग टू एक्सचेंज द इंटरेस्ट ओके वो एक्सचेंज करेंगे पेमेंट्स सो अ कॉल ऑप्शन कॉल ऑप्शन एज अ नेम सजेस्ट इट्स एन ऑप्शन नॉट एन ऑब्लीगेशन इट्स एन इट्स अ राइट टू बाय एट अ स्पेसिफिक प्राइस बिकॉज इट्स अ इट्स अ कॉल ऑप्शन राइट टू बाय अ स्पेसिफिक प्राइस अ पुट ऑप्शन इज राइट टू सेल एट अ स्पेसिफिक प्राइस ओके at expiration the exercise value of a put option is positive if the asset price is less than exercise price so students put option ya usko aap short kar rahe ho right if the price is go down you are going to make money and you are a bear right and if uh, 
you have taken the call option you have taken the call option and uh, you are you have a long position if prices go up you are going to make money to isko aap yaad rakhe at expiration the exercise value of a call option is uh, is uh, is the greater of zero or underlying asset price minus the exercise price you are going to make money if the the security prices go up agar aapke paas call option hai and investor rights please note this uh word rights investor rights the investor ne sell kar diya investor sold the put option investor is not taking the put option he sold the put option at an exercise price of 40 dollars and the option premium is 1 dollar stock price is 42 dollars right at expiration the stock price is 37 the investor sold the put option so he needs to make a payment of 3 dollar minus $1 डॉलर इज ऑप्शन प्रीमियम सो टू डॉलर का लॉस ही मेड ओके सो ही रॉट द पुट ऑप्शन वो उसने पुट ऑप्शन खरीदी नहीं है बेची है राइट right? इसको याद रखें डेरेवेटिव आर लीस्ट लाइकली टू लीज लाइकली टू प्रिवेंट आर्बिट्राज प्रिवेंट कर सकता है वैसे राइट सो आर्बिट्राज मीन्स वॉट टू एसेट्स विद आइडेंटिकल पे ऑफ फ्रॉम सेलिंग एट डिफरेंट प्राइसेज आलू है इट्स सेलिंग एट डिफरेंट प्राइसेज इन द सेम सिटी इन इन टू डिफरेंट मार्केट्स राइट इंटेलिजेंट पीपल लाइक यू आर गोइंग टू बाय एट एट फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड गोइंग टू सेल एट सेवेंटी रुपीज द प्राइसेज आर गोइंग टू बी सेम एट द एंड ऑफ द डे राइट सो स्टूडेंट दैट वॉज अ प्रिटी इंटरेस्टिंग लेक्चर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ डेरेवेट एज बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग आपको मिली है so union bank of india uh, assistant manager forex course it's available on bankexamstudy.com on which we are providing daily video classes study material live sessions unit tests and interview preparation guidance link to join the course is available in the description please check and you can also join the union bank of india credit manager scale to course by team bank exam today it's available on bank exam today links are available in the description if there is any doubt in your mind this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts okay so students list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them you can be one of them in the future yes you can do it i mean you still have 45 50 days with you and it is actually possible to crack the exam so if there is any doubt in your mind anything doubt about yourself call me i'm going to help you out and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day like the video join the classes as soon as possible otherwise you'll be very late for your preparations thank you